Hello students, I welcome all of you in my channel Industrial Engineering. Today I am going to solve the problem 2.31 from the design experiment book by Montgomery. So in this, uh, first of all, uh, I will read the question statement that we have taken 20 observations from, uh, from on the edge uniformity on silicon wafers that are taken during a qualification experiment for a plasma etcher. Plasma etcher is basically a process in during which uh, we perform etching. So these are 20 data sets that have been taken. Now, based upon this data, first we have to construct a confidence interval, 95% confidence interval based upon the variance. This sigma is, represents basically, a uh, sigma scale represents basically the variance, variability among this data set. Okay, then we have to test the hypothesis that Sigma scale is equal to one. Basically, uh, in this question statement, it is saying that the variability among this whole data, 20 data sets, is equal to one. Now, whether we have to check in our alternate hypothesis that whether it whether it is equal to one or not at alpha is equal to 0 0.05. What will be our conclusions? We will check now after uh, performing the test, we will uh, make conclusions. Uh, then we have to check our normality assumptions. After that, we will check that where the norm. We will check the normality by uh, drawing a normal probability plot and then make conclusions. So first of all, what we have to do, uh, we will go uh, towards the hypothesis that what kind of, kind of hypothesis we have to make. So this is the hypothesis, okay, that uh, uh, or null hypothesis will be equal to sigma is equal to sigma naught square. So sigma naught square here, it is given in the question, it is, it is equal to one. And our alternative hypothesis will be sigma is not equal to one. Okay, the value of sigma not scale is given in the question. The test statistic is chi square not is equal to SS. SS means sum of square divided by sigma not square is equal to n minus one. N is the data set. Okay, minus one and s square is the standard deviation of our data then sigma naught scale. The value of sigma naught scale is one, n is equal to 20. The rest of thing we need is the standard deviation of the, uh, sorry, the uh, the variance of this uh, data. So S represent, S on represent the standard deviation and S can represent the variance of the data. So SS sum of scale is the corrected sum of scares of the sample observation because uh, if uh, we talk about only sum of scale, so we or take only a uh, scale of the data and we take the sum, but in case of corrected sum of scale, what the word corrected stands for that we have to subtract each data set from its mean and then we'll take it, the, we'll take the scale. The appropriate reference distribution is chi scale distribution, okay, with n minus one degrees of the freedom, the null hypothesis is rejected. This is our null hypothesis that is written by H naught, okay. When uh, we will reject this hypothesis, this, the, this is the criteria for the rejection that when our calculated value or this test statistic value, this is either greater than alpha by two n minus one. So where the alpha by two n minus one lies, alpha by two lies here, comma n minus one. If the value lies greater, or you can say towards the right of this, okay, on this side, that's a shaded area, bluish area. We will reject our null hypothesis because our test statistic or the values based on our sample are at extreme values too much far away from the center of this distribution. Okay. Or if the chi scale is less than one minus alpha by two n minus one, it means that our calculated value is less than too much less than than the cutoff value and where this cutoff value lies, this is chi scale one minus alpha. This is our cutoff value, and our calculated value lies in this extreme area. Okay, look at here again that our chi scale is less than this value. So chi scale calculated value is less than this value. It means that the value we have calculated from the test statistic it lies towards the left side of left left side of this cutoff region, or it lies in the rejection region or it lies too much far away from the center of this data or distribution. I hope you will now got the point. Where chi scale alpha by two n minus one and chi scale one minus alpha by two n minus one are the upper and lower. 
so you can see alpha by 2 is the upper this is the upper cutoff value and 1 minus alpha by 2 is the lower cutoff value okay now the percentage point of chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of the freedom okay why we use chi square distribution for the variance because i have told you people that whenever we use the scale terms as various as the scale term the so for the scale terms we use all we always use chi square distribution further a question arises why this distribution is not on the negative side why this distribution have started from the zero because this distribution uh, is based on the squared values and squared value can't be ever negative okay so that's why distribution has been started from the zero and it tends towards the right side there's no negative value in the chi square distribution i hope here till here you people got the concept you people have formulated uh, the hypothesis. The rest of thing is S care means the variance of this data, the data that has been provided in the book. This is the data. So what we have to do, we have to just input the data in the mini tab. I have already uh, put the data in the mini tab. This is the data, okay? So I write here H rate, okay? So first of all, what I have to do, I will just go to stat, basic statistics. I have say display the descriptive statistic <coughs> of this H rate. Okay, so then I will get this descriptive statistic. I am interested in the variance of the setup. So I haven't got the variance. Okay, oh sorry. Display the descriptive statistic. I have to go to statistics and I've said that calculate the variance for me okay so this from here uh we can uh, now it's okay and then okay it will give us the variance so 0 0.793 is the variance value we have to put the variance value in this s care okay we will get our test statistic okay how we will perform now uh one sample uh you can say variance test so this is one sample variance test uh, there are a few options we have to select it that uh, whether sample variance is given, whether sample standard deviation is given, or we have the raw data that has been provided to the mini tab in a column. So here I perform, I have to provide all the data in the column. So I will select the first option. So I will say here that the data is provided in the column C1 with the heading H rate. So Please uh, tick on your okay, tick mark because I performed the hypothesis test and the hypothesized variance. We are seeing that the book is saying that the hypothesis, uh, hypothesized variance of the data is equal to one. I have put the data. Then we'll go to option. We have few, there are three kinds of uh, hypothesis we can make and the alternative hypothesis option. So here it shows that the variance is not equal to hypothesis, means that the variance of the process is not equal to one, basically. Okay, I will select this option, then I click OK, then I click add OK. So this is. The hypothesis you have made, then test statistic 15.06. This value you will when you solve manually in on the page paper. So this is a test statistic value. You will get 15.06 from this uh, test statistic value. We lost one degree of freedom in this question. Okay, and chi square value is p values 0.5 so from this uh, 0.563, we can conclude that that we fail to reject our null hypothesis because this p value 0.563 is too much larger than our cutoff value 0 0.05. You can see that in the question it is written uh, 0 0.05, and we got in our uh, in our analysis that p values 0 0.563 that is too much larger. So Another thing uh, what I can tell you that may remember this uh, test statistic value, this is 15.06. So 15.06, this is the, if we have the graph, so 15.06, uh, it lies, now we'll check whether the 15.06 lies in this uh, extreme regions or not. We uh, got one thing from our data that P value is too much greater than the alpha value. It means that over data, is, isn't lies in the extreme region because when the p value 
we we get the p value too much smaller then our data always lies in the extreme regions but here our data lies in between the good region that is white issue but we will i will also tell that uh, uh, where uh, what are your extreme points here cut off values and what if we are at uh, towards the right or towards the left in the good region over data uh, over test statistic lies so i will tell it to you from the book from the expand uh, from the appendix so students i have 19 degrees of freedom this is a chi square distribution table that has been provided in the design of experiment book at the expand ex at the appendix 3 so we represent the uh, degrees of freedom we will go towards 19 degrees of freedom and what will be your alpha value because this is a two sided hypothesis we will divide our alpha value by 0.05 into two halves so it will uh, give us uh, 0.025 and 0.975 i will check in the 19 degree of freedom i got value 8.91 and the second value is 32.85 so these are the two values i got 8.91 lies on the towards this left side cut off region and 32.85 it lies on the right side cut off region whereas whereas over test statistic value 15.06 it lies between these two points and it lies towards this uh, left hand side at this point arbitrarily you can say so this is all about uh, over Uh, our variance uh, example 2.31 one thing more uh, in the question it has it has been told about that draw a normal probability plot and take over uh, your assumption so the normal probability plot is like this this is the normal probability plot okay the whole of the data it has been calculated on a 95% confidence interval and you can see that the whole law data lies in these two slightly curved lines so the whole data follow normal distribution and we haven't found any extreme values in this data further uh, uh, it it was written uh, in the book that construct in the in the question that construct a 95% confidence interval using a uh, you can say variance okay so this is the variance value 0.793 okay and uh, you can see the the uh, the 95% confidence interval based upon uh, they have calculated the confidence interval based upon standard deviation uh, that is 0.677 and 1.3 these value this confidence interval has been developed on 0.890 so if you people are interested in calculating the confidence interval i can uh, tell you uh, i can teach you from both from the formula okay as well as on the mini tab but that require again too much time from the start so thanks a lot for your time for watching this video and if you uh, like this video kindly subscribe to my channel and uh, press like on this video thanks a lot for your time